serving our country is something I'm capable of. It's something that, you know, I think I have my head screwed on a little tighter than most of the people in DC. It's something that I could do a better job at. With, I think, 5% of my time, <laughs> I'll do a better job than, than somebody doing spending 100% of their time um, in DC. And, you know, I think that if you know a lot about government, you'd probably agree that, you know, the problem with government is, is incentives that are all misaligned, that they're incentives that, you know, people are using these positions of quote unquote power to get, um, you know, to, to really in a, in a way that is, uh, wasn't what was designed. Uh, this isn't what the founding fathers des desired that you would write books based on your quote unquote experience in, in DC and make millions of dollars off of it. That's not, that's not what the founding fathers wanted, that this would turn into just a media fest of, of who can get the most attention. That's not what the founding fathers wanted either. They wanted you to prioritize government first and foremost. And that's something that, you know, our legislators have failed us. And the founding fathers also felt that Congress should be a part-time job. Um, that's not what's happened. In fact, the opposite's happened where people spend their whole lives planning to be in the house. Then people spend millions of dollars to be in the house and all sorts of other pollution comes in where it's not just a full-time job, it's 10 people's full-time jobs. And it's really something that is easily corrupted. We've seen the evidence of that. We've seen the evidence by Dr. Tr uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, President Trump being arrested several times, You know, something that's unprecedented. We've seen the evidence by things like the arrest of the guy who was memeing about Hillary Clinton. Uh, I spoke with him briefly, by the way. He's, he's a big fan of mine as well, and he's going to win his appeal, I think. The guy is supposed to be going to jail, but the appeals court, which is one of the few sane places left, the appeals court decided that you know, they should hold off sending him to prison. Prison for a meme. Can you imagine that? That you send a JPEG out into the world, and all of a sudden you go to jail? That your whole life is turned upside down, that you... But imagine now the way things are going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now it's even worse. That you got to go spend your life savings, $50,000, $100,000, $200,000, to get yourself a lawyer so that you might not have to go to jail for the next five or ten years. Can you imagine? Just for sending a JPEG? Come on. You know, this is something that's, you know, just out of control. And we need more sane kind of, you know, people... Uh, in DC making these these decisions before you know our country goes broke before we add we've needed to go to four letters for these agencies we have so many agencies we now have the CFTC <laughs> we have the CFPB three letters is enough soon we'll have five letter agencies because there are so many and there's so many ways for people to monetize these agencies oh as the former head of the CFTC oh very well why don't you go work at Paul Weiss the big law firm oh well you know I was the head of of the DOJ. Well, there's a job for you over at, you know, uh, this law firm. You know, go work at uh, Reed Hicks. Yeah. I got a subpoena for Paul Weiss uh, about a year ago. <laughs> Definitely the, la Just over some shit, the last thing you want. <laughs> it's one very powerful law firm. And guess who works there? Loretta Lynch, the former attorney general. You know, so one day she's the attorney general busting the bad guys. The next day she's at Paul Weiss defending the bad guys. And it's all for what? For money, for power. Yeah, good. Yeah, harassing innocent people. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, you're just a victim in the crossfire. It has nothing to do with, you know, you. You're just a pawn for them to get more advanced, to get more, you know, money, to get more power, and then repeat. You know, it's just a uh, insane theft of our resources where we could be focused on doing great things. Like for example, we, we could have a Manhattan Project for AI or for Alzheimer's or for anything we put our minds to, but we're putting our minds to terrible things, <laughs> fighting each other, uh, doing things that don't help our country. And you know, as much as I like to dunk on uh, Democrats and the left wing, you know, there's plenty to dunk on on the right wing too. You know, the, the country is not gonna be saved if it becomes Republican. Uh, we have too much rot in both parties. And, you know, as much as I identify as a Republican, I'm not going to dislike somebody just because they're a Democrat. You know, it's all about the exact ideas. It's all about the, you know, what is it, what is going to happen to our country? 
Now, Democrats love to spend, and you know my policy is that we should not be spending another dollar until, you know, hey, yeah, go ahead. I think that uh, we need to amplify this Twitter spaces, so maybe we should figure out a way who we should all tweet at to try to get somebody who's going to draw more eyeballs into this. Well, I'll be... I'll, I'll, I'm about to head out of here, sorry, I got to go, but it was great talking to you, Mark. Likewise, I'm thank you. I've been a big fan of you for a long time, man. I think, you know, if you got into Congress, you'd be, uh, you know, uh, among the top. There's only uh, only two or three people there, you know, that I actually, you know, think are actually, you know, solid people. You'd be, uh, you'd be the uh, third or fourth. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not sure the third one, whether I actually trust them or not. But <laughs> uh, you'd be among the top with those people there. And I, uh, you know, wish you the best of luck there. Thank you. You know, some of the best Congress. Bless you, brother. Thank you. Some of the best Congress people um, get run out of town. Uh, Trey Gowdy. I thought was a really good congressperson and trey is no longer in congress it's uh, Did, uh didn't trey gowdy question you Did yeah he, uh, was, it, was that you it was we he we was... we had a lot of fun up there and the one thing trey didn't do that i really enjoyed was he didn't grandstand he asked a couple questions and he kept it moving you know the other people like chaffetz and of course the uh, passed away elijah cummings uh god rest his soul you know, they just grandstanded or grandstanded and grandstanded. They didn't ask me a single question. All they did was just keep bullshitting so that their constituents could hear them. So they didn't have to go buy media ads. I met Chaffetz at a house party in Miami, I think <coughs> like two years ago. He was just there all, all of a sudden. That's funny. He was there and uh, <laughs> it was an interesting uh, person to just randomly run into. But yeah, he's a lobbyist he now. I mean, I didn't like the guy. He was very, uh, you know, he seemed uh, very, uh, you know, very arrogant and up on himself you know i'm you know i used to be a congressman i'm an important guy but, yeah you know the, not the sort of people that i mean generally the, uh, you know, the nice thing about that inclined to uh you know be uh, friendly with just you know they're not friendly with me you know fuck it sure no it's funny because congress isn't that important there's 450 people in congress at the end of the day you know oh, yeah. being in congress is not some some huge you know it's for me it's a step down like i i this is more work that I don't want to have to do and I'm too busy for. But I do think that the country would be for the better. Um, it's a sacrifice. You know, why, why doesn't Bill Gates or, or Warren Buffett become president or join Congress? Why do you think? There's no upside. <laughs> Rich business people, there's... If they could just use their influence and money to... Uh, I don't be, better than, uh, you know, being in the seat of power if you're the one who well, well, hold on a second, because hold, hold on a second, hold on a second. So if you think someone like Jeff Bezos, right, or Warren Buffett, they're pretty smart people. They've been able to run complex organizations, right? They're very good at it. Why the heck wouldn't they go in and run government and fix everything? And their answer is there's nothing in it for them. And the answer is that it's a huge pain in the butt. The answer is that they don't want to make the commitment, the public service, because their lives are too good. The life of a politician is not good. You have to go run for it uh, again and again. You have all kinds of dilemmas and nonsense to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And these very, very smart people who could be much better at organizing and running the country, there's just not enough incentive for them to do it. They're not egotistical enough. They're not, thief <laughs> They're not sort of like malevolent enough. They're not thieving enough to, to want to go use the country for, for bad means. So they just say, why would I want to do that? I love my life the way it is. And I think that we need to be able to get people interested in, in being in government. And I think one of the ways we could do that is by making the job of Congress more like a board of directors than like management, to use a business analogy. If all you have to do is vote, and you say, look, I know what my values are. I know the values of the people I'm trying to represent. If you bring me a spending bill, I don't care who you are, I'm voting no. I don't want to spend more money that we don't have. Uh, that's my value. And I don't need to study the bill that closely and, and bullshit with, with other politicians and bullshit with lobbyists and do all the DC nonsense just to understand that this bill spends a lot of money that we don't have and we're going to sell more debt to finance it. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, we're spending like drunk sailors. 
Or if somebody says, hey, here's a bill, it's going to create a new agency that regulates AI or crypto. And they say, no, that's going to cost money and I don't want more regulation. That's just a waste of time. Um, or somebody wants to uh, potentially pass a bill to stop people in Congress and the president and so forth from making money off of books and media. Well, I'm for that. 